My Own Bookshelf, How We Use It in Shoreline. It's time for a good thing. I'm ready for some reading. Oh, read to me. Won't you read a story? I think a story is what I Save the world from a dragon. You find Community volunteers help us scan books so we can put them in my own bookshelf. And the head, the supervisor of Power of One, wanted somebody in the field. Cool. So I was told that this is open. I said, sure. I don't care. I don't, I'm busy. I don't care. So I can hear everything. And since you've been here, you've really learned a lot about the kids, haven't you? You oh, watch yeah. them. A lot more than I did before, yes. Because you notice things about them and when they're not their normal selves. Yeah. And, and students help us by recording the sound for the books. Hey, uh, care to go into town? Alfie said. Oh, yes. There'd, there'd be a lot of things to laugh at in town. At Highland Terrace Elementary, students are working on time on task, switch use, computer use, and literacy skills. Can you say, Triceratops? This dinosaur's head has three horns upon it, sticking up out of a hard sort of bonnet. But though he was smaller and not half as severe, his head was too hard for T Rex. So after a few dozen snaps at his face, he looked for dinner in some other place. Oh, say, can you say, Apatosaurus? I've gotten this rather tall ladder here for us to see eye to eye with the Apatosaurus. These dinos' long necks reach up high into the trees where they fed on green leaves, just as much as they Can you say Brachiosaurus? This dino is taller than 51 feet. And just how much food do you think he could eat? Nearly as much as a truckload of hay is what he would gobble day after day. Excellent reading, JJ. Good job. Uh, uh, they run for fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me! Oh my! Oh me! Oh my! What a lot of funny things go by. Turn the page. Nice job. Some have two feet and Good some job, have four. Beautiful. Some have six feet and some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say, but I bet they have come a long, long way. Turn the page. <laughs> At Shorewood High School, we transition these skills from self into skills for humanity by sharing the books with others. The doors were shut and locked. Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator, and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? Climb a mountain? He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas, and rows and rows of beds. 
This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around, admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop! Off came the button, and off the mattress corduroy toppled bang into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Ah! Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? We hope you will share this education beyond yourself, too. What do you guys think of the kids coming to read to you? Huh? I don't think they're trying to be nice. You think they're trying to be nice? Yeah. Yeah. To read. They can read? Even though they they have owies on their brain? Yeah. How yeah. can they read? Well, it's a special program that we've made so that they can use the books. Why? Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. And were you guys kind of scared when they first came in? Did it kind of scare you? But are you scared of him anymore? No. No? I'm scared of them. You're not scared anymore? No? No. But it was kind of, because they were different, weren't they? Mommy. But you guys have been really good at asking questions. Yeah. Do you think other teachers should do this? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Say, do it for your class. <laughs> Can you say that? Do it for your class. No. Do it for your class.